Hi guys, today we are going to be doing another fashion haul. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Annette. I am a makeup channel, but I am trying to do a little bit more fashion content. So if you're interested in that, might want to check out the rest of my videos to see if you would like to subscribe. Uh, today we are going to be doing a Shein haul. I did a Forever 21 haul not that long ago. I will link that in the corner, basically the day after Shein contacted me and they were like, hey, do you want to test out some of our clothes? We can send you some, you can make a video. I was like, Sure, why not, you know? So this is not a sponsored video, but they did provide me with the clothing. So I just wanna make that very clear. Also, they did give me a code, which is Makeup Corner 15. If you wanna make your own order, it is not affiliated. It just kinda lets them know that you came from my video and it will help me out, maybe be able to work with them again in the future. So if you would like to shop, there will be links to all of the items that I'm showing you down below in my description box and they will be affiliate links. Let's go ahead and get into the haul. So if you are unfamiliar with what Shein is, Shein is a very, affordable Chinese website where they have a lot of fast fashion. That is not for everybody, I know, but I am someone who gets very, very sick of wearing the same thing over and over and over again. I like change. I don't mind the quality of maybe some pieces not being the absolute best. And I've ordered from Shein in the past and I've had pretty good luck, but of course there's going to be some hits and misses and there were also some hits and misses in this haul. I'm going to be completely honest with you, but I will show you and tell you what I feel about the items as I go ahead and try them on for you guys. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to scooch over a little bit so that we have some room for you know, some pictures and some footage and stuff like that on the screen. Before we get into it, I do want to just mention that I am 5'1", so I am quite short and I got pretty much all of these items in a size large, but I will let you know if anything changed. Shein does tend to run a little bit small, but just make sure that you look at the sizing chart before you actually put in an order because some things do run very true to size and some things also run a little bit oversized. So just read the reviews, make sure you read the measurements and then just you know, make a calculated decision. Don't just like click on an item and hope for the best, you know? So I'm gonna start off with one of the items that actually worked out so well for me. I freaking love this. This is a beautiful black and white polka dot dress with kind of like a tie waist. I did get this one in a size medium and it was $10. So like I said before, very, very affordable. The fit on this is beautiful. It fit me really, really, really well. I did size down in this or get like more my true to size because I read the reviews and the reviews said that it ran kind of big. So I ended up getting a medium and it was perfect. Like I said, I really like the silhouette of this dress. I really, really like the fabric of this dress. It felt nice and soft. It's nice and opaque. It's not see-through at all. It's very flattering on the body. I feel like this is a piece that you can dress up or down. I really like how it looked on me. I really like how it felt on me. There really was nothing I did not like about this dress. I even liked the length of it. It was perfect. So I wanted to just start off this haul on a good note and show you one of the good pieces that I got because I absolutely love this dress and I'm so happy that I got this because this is something that I feel like I can wear really every season, you know, in the winter, I can just take the belt off, pair it with a cardigan or throw a sweater over the top, wear it with tights, wear it with a jacket. So many things I can do with it. I think this was a great piece. Let's talk about one of the items that didn't really work out for me. It doesn't look terrible on, but I just don't really like the fabric of this. So this is a, a kind of green and black and yellow florally dress. It was $17, so it was one of the more expensive items. It doesn't have any stretch in it, except for like the back panel, and it also has a zipper on the side. My issue with this dress was that it was a little bit too big in like the upper portion. I don't really feel like I have a very big bust. I'm definitely more bottom heavy. So I felt like I couldn't really wear a bra with this either just because of the fit. And I just don't like having my bra showing when I'm wearing like a spaghetti strap type dress. So for that reason, it was a little bit loose up top and since it doesn't have any stretch like the fit needs to be perfect you know so I just didn't love that I also just didn't really like the fabric it felt a little bit cheap and just not really I don't know how to explain it so I'm just going to show you instead so here's the dress so the fabric is quite nice but it is very cheap feeling and it does have like white on the inside like I said there's no stretch in it and it just feels kind of cheap like you can probably hear it too like it makes a lot of sound, you know? And I feel like I don't want my fabrics to make a lot of sounds when I'm sitting down or I'm walking or I'm doing stuff. So I wasn't thrilled with this dress. I will say that the, the fit of it, the silhouette of it is nice. It just didn't fit my body perfectly. I think that if you have a little bit more up top, you would probably really like it. But the issue for me was that there was no stretch in the waist of the dress. So if I had sized down, it would have been too small in my waist. So that dress just wasn't made for my body type, which is totally okay. It's 
not my body's fault. It's not the dress fault. It's just the way it is. You know, sometimes, sometimes things just don't fit and that's totally fine. It's just, it's just the way it goes. Now let's talk about some items that I ended up really, really liking. This was a top and a skirt that I paired together uh, for no other reason that I just felt like they would look kind of cool together and they ended up really working. So the first thing is the top that I'm wearing. This is the Contrasting Binding Tee Neck Blouse, such long names. I got this one in a size large because it is a top with no stretch and I just wanted to make sure it was nice and comfortable. I think this looks so cute. You know, there's something kind of like preppier about the little bow that you have to tie and like it being kind of like a dressed up uh, shirt. And then I tucked it into this really, 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 really cute. I love skirts like this. I'm actually wearing like kind of the same type of skirt today, but this is just like so my type. It's kind of like a flouncy A-line kind of circle skirt thingy. I got mine in a red because I just thought it would look really cute. This one was $12, got this one in a size large as well. I will say I probably could have sized down if I wanted to, but the fit was fine still and I didn't see anything wrong with the size and I could also just wear a belt over whatever I tucked into it and you know that would really help too, but I thought that the sizing was nice. I like my clothing to be more on the loose side of anything, like I would rather be comfortable, you know, as long as it's not too, too big, I would rather it be on the bigger side. So I was very pleased with both of these items. They both seem to be nice quality. I really like this. I thought as an outfit, it turned out really cute too. And I also wanted to pair the skirt with one of the other tops that I got. This top was only $6. So it's like a pop art t-shirt. So cute. It's got a bit of like high neck to it. And I really just, I love the print of this t-shirt. It is the cutest thing ever. It was the one thing that I was the most excited about in this whole haul. And I just think that this whole outfit together is just, I don't know. I, I felt like it was very me. <laughs> And it just made me really happy. Is it a lot of color and is it very out there? Absolutely. Could definitely pair this with just like a black skirt or like even black pants because the t-shirt is long enough that it's not really a crop top. I did get this one in a size large as well, by the way. Like I said, it's not short enough that it has to be a crop top and I really like that. I'm not really into crop tops on myself. I don't really like showing my stomach. I don't know. I've always been kind of like not a modest dresser, but I just have no desire to like put my body out there. It's just not who I am. So I like to be covered up enough that I feel covered up, you know? So this was perfect. I absolutely love both of these pieces. Now let's move on to an item that just, it didn't really work out for me. I really, really wanted this to work, but I think for my body type, this just wasn't the right kind of item. So I always struggle with bottoms because I am quite bottom heavy. So it's hard for me to find shorts and pants and stuff that don't have like a lot of stretch in them to really fit. So this was a pair of shorts that I got and these are called the tight paper bag waist cuffed shorts. I got these in a size large and they were $11. So they were affordable. But my issue with these was that I felt like they ran a little bit small because they were definitely too tight on my waist. Not so tight that like they look too tight on my waist, but I just, I didn't really like the way that they fit. And they were also very tight in my thighs. Uh, like I said, I am bottom heavy, so I'm not really surprised that that was the case, but also the cuffs on the bottom of the shorts, they just wouldn't stay up. <laughs> so they would kind of like roll down. I wish that they had a stitch in like four places instead of just on the inside and the outside side because that would have made them stay in place a little bit better. Love the idea of the shorts. I think that if you don't have as much booty as I do <laughs> and as much thighs as I do, you would probably really, really like these because they are super, super cute. The only issue was the hem, like I said, but you could easily put in some stitches yourself if you were interested in getting a pair of these. They had plenty of colors. I think that the quality seemed really, really nice. They were super soft, nice and stretchy waistband could tie it up if you felt like they were too loose. So I did like the idea of these shorts. They just didn't really fit on my body type. You know, it happens. Okay, let's move on to this next one. I freaking love this one. <laughs> and I've been wearing it so much since I filmed this try on. This is a kind of leopard jogger set that I got. I got this in a size large and it was $19. I will say the quality on both of these pieces aren't like, amazing, but it's also not bad. So in particular, like with the pants, one of the things that I noticed right away was that the drawstring isn't actually a drawstring. It's just strings that are attached to the front of the pants. And I'm like, why? 
<laughs> I mean, I get it. You want it to look like sweatpants, but like, why not just make it a waistband, you know? But like, they are so cute. They're so comfortable. They have pockets. They're super soft. They're very thin. And since we are in the middle of the summer, I'm in Vegas. It is freaking hot here, even at night, even inside of the house with AC on, like it's just hot. So it's nice to have like sweatpants that are very much on the thin side. So I really like them for that purpose. I don't know if they were see-through. I haven't looked at the footage yet, but I do really, 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 really love this set and it's so comfortable. I feel like I can actually dress up the t-shirt and like wear it with other things and it would look really cute. I could wear it with like jeans and tuck them into something else. I don't know. I just love this set and I just, I feel like I'm going to be <laughs> wearing it a lot. Okay, let's move on. So I ended up getting a pair of blue bike shorts. Let's see how much were these. These were $8. I did get mine in a size medium and I kind of wish that I got a size large, but I paired these bike shorts with a oversized butterfly t-shirt, which is so cute. This one was $11. I also got that one in a size medium because I knew from reading the reviews and stuff that it ran kind of on the big side, which is definitely true. I felt like the medium was true to size for being oversized, if that makes sense. I wouldn't have minded a larger size because shirts like this I can like sleep in and stuff too, which is really nice. But I like the length of it. I really like the fit of it. I like how boxy it was. It was nice and soft. Uh, as for the bike shorts, the bike shorts were not my favorite just because of the waistband. The waistband is kind of weird. <laughs> like it said on the website that it's like a thick waistband, but then there's like a small thin waistband inside of the thick waistband that just kind of ends up like all the way up top. And I also just felt like it was too high waisted, at least from my liking, you know, like I don't want things to come up to like under my boobs, you know, <laughs> like I want it to end like right above my belly button. Like that is the ideal, I would say waist for me personally. I know a lot of people love like super high waisted things, but like when you sit down in those, <laughs> it's just not really that comfortable, you know, <laughs> but I really like the material of them. They were nice and like slick and like slippery or do you know what I mean like very kind of shiny material which is really good with like friction you know if you're walking it makes it really really comfortable and it also means that when you have like oversized t-shirts that you pair with the bike shorts it's going to lay very nicely over it and not like kind of rub against it you know how if you're wearing like cotton against cotton and you have a t-shirt that's like longer than or whatever you're wearing it over leggings and then they kind of like get stuck together and they don't flow nicely they just end up kind of bunched up i hate that like i'm so picky with like what fabrics i pair with other fabrics because i want things to like just i don't know work with each other and not like compete and like rub and stick and you know what I mean like I hate that so I was very very happy with the material of the shorts they were very nice and comfortable like I said really like them so the only thing I didn't like was the waistband it was just a little bit weird but I'll still totally wear them I probably would have sized up like I said if I had known like how they would fit but other than that I really like them. The last thing in my haul was a cardigan that I got, kind of like a throw over. This one was $17. I got this in a size medium because again, I read the reviews, it said it ran kind of big. So I thought I would size or get my true to size if you want to call it that. So I like this cardigan. I felt like the material was really nice. Love the color. I really like the quality of it too. It was really, really well made, it seemed like, and I didn't have any kind of like loose threads or anything like that. And it just, it seemed like a nice cardigan. You know, it seemed like something you would go to uh, H&M and buy and stuff like that. I really like H&M. I think their quality is really good for like the price that you're paying. And I would kind of compare that cardigan to something you would buy at H&M. So I really liked it. The only thing I didn't really like was like, the length of it was a little bit awkward. Like I felt like the end of it kind of ended like, in the middle of my hip and I just don't find that to be the most flattering length and I also wish that it was longer in the back and shorter in the front or at least just a bit longer in the back. I find that when something falls on your body and it ends up being longer in the front and shorter in the back, I don't know, I just don't find it to be like the best look. That could just be me. But if you like that and you don't mind that, you would probably really, really like this. It's going to be really, really nice to just like throw over whatever you're wearing. If you're wearing a t-shirt or a tank top or just anything like you could see I'm wearing it here with like some black bike shorts and just a kind of longer top. That's probably how I would wear it. I mean, honestly, I live in bike shorts. If I don't wear dresses or skirts, it's bike shorts all the way. I'm a sucker for bike shorts. Can't help it. 
just who I am. So yeah, let me know how you feel about all of these items. Which ones were your favorite? I would say I definitely call this haul a win. I feel like most of the pieces I'm going to be able to get a lot of wear out of, except for the pieces that just didn't really fit me right. But other than that, I don't have any complaints about the quality, except for that one dress that I felt like the fabric just wasn't really like great on. But other than that, I'm really happy with my haul. So let me know if there are any other sites that you want me to do a try on haul from. I would love to do so. I think that these are so much fun to do and I'm excited to just be doing a little bit more fashion content on my channel because it is something that I really, really enjoy. I've always been into fashion and I just haven't really, I don't know, I felt like I haven't really had an outlet for it yet, but it's nice to have this channel and be able to do a little bit of that as well. So I hope you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to check out my other videos and see if you would be interested in becoming part of my family. I will have a playlist on the screen so you can go check some of them out. That's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.